Hello, my name is Victoire Drogela, a co-chair of French Heritage Society Young Patron Circle. I'm so pleased to introduce the fourth installment of this Innovation in Action virtual event series. Over the past months, we have been hearing from, from dynamic chateau owners in France who are devising new creative ways to, well, to raise awareness and support for their restoration work. Today, we'll hear from Alex and Itaka de Boncourt of Chateau du Mereuil, nicknamed Chateau Flore. Located in the Pas-de-Calais region, the chateau has been in Alexis' family since it was built in 1717. Its gardens have been cultivated and expanded throughout the past few decades and were first opened to the public in 2000. As the current caretakers, Alex and Itaka have been innovative in their use of the gardens to support renovation work, including an annual brocant and flower show called Le Grenier du Chateau Flore, which has provided much needed support to supplement grant fundings for the recent restoration of the Chateau Slade's roof. Now, I will hand it over to Jennifer Herla, Executive Director of French Heritage Society. Thank you so much, Victoire. On behalf of all of us at French Heritage Society, I say a special bonjour to our members who have joined us today and a warm bienvenue to those of you who are new to our programming. For those who may not be familiar, French Heritage Society's mission over the past 39 years has been awarding preservation grants to culturally and historically significant French architecture in France and the United States. And Chateau de Flore, as we'll learn a little bit later, is a, a historic monument like so many of FHS grant projects, and that impacts how they do, they work, how they do their work and the types of funding that, that are available to them. An equally important part of French Heritage Society's mission is ensuring that the skills required to work on preservation projects are transferred to the next generation. Through our advanced internship program, each year we select and send around 35 students from prestigious universities in France and the United States across the Atlantic for internships. Lastly, I would like to thank the French Heritage Society team for their work on this program. Natalie May has very thoughtfully curated this series and Ben Wells is making sure that we have a smooth experience together today. Please note that at the end of our conversation, we'll welcome all of you to join us on screen. And you are welcome to ask Alex and Ithka questions directly or throughout the program, you can ask them using the question and answer button at the bottom of your screen. And now without further ado, it's my absolute pleasure to welcome Alex and Ithaca to French Heritage Society today. How are you? Very well, thank you. Uh, We're very well. delighted to be here. Yes, definitely. Good. Really happy. And so I always like to start out by asking, how did you end up at Chateau Floor? I married Alex. <laughs> <laughs> she married me, yes. She accepted the challenge. Um, we, we lived in Paris um, and, uh, you know, had held jobs in Paris and uh, we had the opportunity to uh, to take over the um, this beautiful home, and uh, and and here we are ten hour, ten ten years later. Absolutely, the, the, the house is in my family since, uh, as you said, uh, seventeen seventeen, and I am uh, I am the oldest of uh, of five. Um, so the choice was quickly made. My brothers and three sister, my brother and my three sisters said that was my. It was quite normal for me to to hand over to, to the, the 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 house, and uh, also it was a big thing to convince uh, Ithaca. She accepted it uh, <laughs> to come here, and but uh, it's true that the coming here is an experience, and it's such a beautiful uh, place uh, with this marvelous light and architecture. It was difficult, maybe, to say you no. Know, I was in love. <laughs> no, the, uh, the, we wanted to escape from the city. Uh, I love cities, but uh, uh, we needed to give something, you know, a better, give a better life to our kids. Um, and living here was a wonderful way to transmit strong values that we hold dearly to our to our close to our close to our hearts so uh, yes and obviously as Alex said the house is and the grounds are beautiful and uh, yeah. I didn't that much convincing actually but we're not going to tell him <laughs> he doesn't need to know I don't think either <laughs> and so when you moved into the chateau full-time and it became your full-time residence 
what kind of restoration work were you expecting and what was the reality? Um, we knew we were going to have to do quite a lot because the, well, the inside of the actual, of our home, the chateau, hadn't been um, refurbished since the Second World War. Yes. Um, so we knew we'd have to, to do the whole plumbing, heating system, um, electricity, uh, etc. And we had to also insulate it because it wasn't insulated. The first weeks that we moved in, my my kids would come down for breakfast with kind of dark blue lips yes, and, and and purple hands because it was just so freezing and and the heating was on so uh we had to deal with that and then um very soon we realized after entering mm -hmm. after emptying so many buckets of water in the in the in the attic that we had a, a, a issue with the roof and it was looking bad but it was actually really really bad much worse than expected uh, actually you know when you're woken up uh, in the middle of the night with uh, with this sound of uh, water dropping uh, on the on the ceiling it's quite annoying and when we realize that uh, the wood is when you go up there and it's rotten and you see that uh, everything is falling it's uh, well that was a that was a big a bit of a shock we didn't expect it to be that bad honestly uh, if, yeah. if i talk only about the roof because when the roof falls down then the the, the water goes in the walls and that yeah. was uh, another major um, uh, problem, uh, problem. Um, uh, because the, the 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 southern part of the house, some parts of it were were crumbling down, really about to fall, and so we had to quickly take some measures to block this um, this these the events water, from happening. The water infiltration. We had we hadn't realized that in fact the roof was that bad and that there was a severe water infiltration into a part of the side and the first one one of the facades was leaning and starting to lean and we just thought it was just leaning because the house was more than 300 years old but, but it, it was leaning because of the water infiltration um so yeah so we then had this electric electric shock and we had to really start finding ways to to restore it to fund the yeah the restoration of, of, of this of this beautiful house. And what was the process for finding funds for supporting the necessary work on the roof? Because that's an extraordinary uh, the, undertaking. Well, first of all, we are working together. Uh, I mm -hmm. have a little company. We're not working together. No, not talking. We are work, each we of us. Work. We both work. Sorry, both work I'm French. <laughs> uh, so uh, excuse my French. Uh, so we, we, ha we both have a work, so that's, that's the first way of funding. And the second is that um, uh, we, we, we had to go and see the, first of all, the, the, the bank, and also on the same level, the, the historical monuments, the Ministry of Culture, because the house is listed. So you cannot do anything you want. Uh, you always have to go through the Ministry of Culture and ask them what you can what 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 is the best way to start? So they send you a team over uh, with uh, architects and specialists. They did a big tour, like there were eight people, and they they do the check uh, the checking of the property, and then they give you the list uh, their wish list, and then you can go and see the bank with uh, approximate figures. And that's another problem: is uh, how to convince a bank uh, uh, because uh, the the the, um, the figures were very high. Um, much higher also than expected. Um, so it was a battle of three years almost. And it was complicated also because uh, obviously we, we own this, this, this beautiful house, but we own it right. through uh, uh, SCE, uh, which is a French legal um, estate um, structure. And, and banks don't want to lend normally to this, to kind, of, this kind of no. uh, uh, structure. They only so we had to convince. We, we spent three years fighting back and trying to convince them that yes, we 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 had we were both working and we we had to kind of find some guarantee to um, to to convince them. Yes, and yes. we managed after three years. And during that time, during those three years, the roof was you know the water more and more was getting worse exactly. and worse. The facade was leaning mm. even more. So it was an extremely stressful time. There were times we thought we weren't going to manage, yes. and we really it's thought, true. okay, what are we going to do? Because if the fall, the roof 
uh, collapses or if the facade collapses completely, then uh, we won't have the means at all to rebuild a facade. So we even we thought, what well, should we should we sell it? Um, and uh, we thought, no, we're not going to say it. We, it it's, this is the family house. It's been in the house since the beginning. We took it on. We gave a promise to all of, the, of Alex's uh, brothers and sisters and to the cousins, a very big family, mm -hmm. that we would take it on and it would remain a family home. So we thought, no, we're going to just fight. Yes. And we, and and we also, managed. Also, this, um, this expression was also made to the Ministry of Culture and asking them to help because when they give you the figures, they said that we had to, it was compulsory to have a, a, a violet slate. And uh, as you may know, the violet slate now can only be found in um, Wales, Canada, China, I think, and Brazil. And so it's, and the, and the, the, qu the qu quarry, the quarry in Wales quarry. Is, uh, is the only one in Europe. So the prices are really high. But they decided, thank God, after the, uh, many discussions to help us through and, 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 and help us substantially to, um, to cover the, 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 delta. the delta. The delta between an historic, very good quality uh, black gray slate and this beautiful white slate. In French, you say violine. It's beautiful because it's not every single slate is a different shade of gray violet. Yeah. So when the sun hits the on hits the, the, the roof, it kind of shines in different it's ways. Marvelous. It's really it has beautiful violet hues. Yeah. And it was oh, the roof, the eight hundred square meters, because that was the the, the plan right. uh, where I've been nailed. nailed uh, every every slate has been nailed. Uh, um, it's been uh, uh, done with um, uh, the oldest techniques. The wood is uh, it was not uh, was an oak, and you know a bit the, uh, the the charpente. Yeah. Um, well, the whole wooden frame. The wooden frames were frame. made of timber, old timber and and uh, the, it's beautifully ex executed. Honestly, it's it's marvelous. Also, there were issues with the chimneys. The chimneys were the stones were extremely uh, in extremely bad condition too. Another very nice discovery. So we had also to change a lot of stones uh, to make sure the stones wouldn't fall. Uh, um, well, we had to. Uh, yeah. We didn't, thank God, have to pull them down and rebuild them. But we we came close to that, mm. and they were the sto look, many stones were were and bricks and stones were replaced. The joint work was done, and even uh, you know the supporting rods yes. between the roof and the chimneys has, some had to be replaced because we discovered that they weren't actually holding anything. Mm. Um, and since we you know we have the gardeners open to the public, it's just too terrible right. to mm. think that a, a chimney <laughs> could have just crashed on some innocent children yeah. playing in the garden. All right. So, Okay. I think we're going to ask Ben to bring the slideshow up because the roof is truly spectacular. And I, I think that everyone would really enjoy seeing that. So Ben, if you could bring the slideshow up, we'll start transporting people to Chateau Floor, starting with the roof, I suppose, which was your situation as well. No, definitely, definitely. The slideshow and as coming. he's pulling that up, I, I know that you've done a beautiful job of documenting the work that you're doing. And how did you, you know, what, what made you decide to do that? And, and, and how did you realize that that was going to be a very helpful tool for you, the so, uh, getting this out on social media and bringing others into your process? Um, I wanted to document it uh, for our family and for my children. I thought it was really important they understand the extent of what we, the, the extent of what we were undertaking and also for the next generations to come. I also wanted to show uh, the local authorities what we were doing because since we were being helped, it was necessary, it was for me crucial that I was giving them a, a feedback on the progression of the work. And because the garden is open to the public, I really, really wanted to, to bring them on board and share this the, the passion and and to and to show it show them all at every single stage that yes we were managing it was it was such a relief after the three years of fighting to get this loan and to get help that I thought now we have to give back what was been given to us and um and it was just and I was to my surprise I mean uh, I, I we we got very very fast quite a following on um, on Instagram uh, to not name Instagram or for social media and uh, other social medias um, and uh, it, yeah it was um, 
it's an interesting process because you get a lot of support. Yeah, I have so many warm. people contacting me, suggesting, wanting to help. Um, um, <laughs> just you know, it's just it's it, it pushes you on. So well, and you've made your work accessible to people who perhaps aren't able to travel to France, and many of us aren't right now at all. But I think you've brought this project out into the world in a way that shows how important it is to have caretakers who are respectful Indeed. of the history and totally it's important to show everybody that they, that they too can be part of this this is not yeah. just this is our house but it's also everybody's house because something this mm -hmm. old is belongs to everybody uh, and it's important to share well, we, we are not too far from uh, from the battlefields uh, of Arras uh, from the first world war uh, and we we also had very nice uh, contacts uh, in Australia because uh, 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 quite a lot of Australian uh, Australian soldiers fell um, yeah. nearby. Uh, it's it's very Canadian yes Canadians. So it's it's also very nice because they, they 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 in a sense they can they can they can see what we are doing there and and yeah. and, and figure that somehow some of their ancestors uh, grandfathers. Our great grandfathers came to came to fight around the, our place. Um, uh, what like role did the, the chateau play during the war? Did it? I mean, was it used for any purpose? I know a lot of them were used for as hospitals. What what happened at Chateau well, Fleur? My my great grandmother was a nurse, and she got very famous for helping a lot of people around here. Um, First World War nearby, a couple of kilometers away, it was a British a tank corps. And um, obviously, it was a lot of relation between the chateaus to help manage soldiers. The boofers gave us an amazing, amazing. Do you want me to catch it, or she, I think I was going to try to catch it? I have to hide it because it's very dangerous. Uh, an amazing. <laughs> I'd say that it's not a sword. It's um, I'd say bayonet. You know, uh, ah. it's you know, you put it uh, on the on the. It's a British one. So, oh my look goodness! At look at that. Um, yeah, it's you know you put. I don't know the word in um in uh in English. It's uh, the end of the you know two, two. yeah end of the rifle. So it's from the first world war. So that's that's the first war. So it's a, it's a direct testimony of what might have happened. And the second world war, the house was occupied for four years by the Germans. By the Germans. By the they they did more damage than than the people from the, from the revolution definitely. Huh? Yes, because yes, the house was sacked by the revolutionaries. Yes, um, okay. and it was documented because the conventionnel Le Bon uh, was trialed in Arras, and he was boasting about all the things that he had done to support the French Revolution, and he extensively talked about Umroy, uh, about the sacking of the farm, of tearing down the plaster yes. ceilings, the hidden stairs. So we've got it all documented of yes. all the things that he did. So. With the, so when Alex's ancestors came, managed to come back and, and rebuild uh, this, this this beautiful place, then our, many years later, during the Second World War, it was occupied by the Luftwaffe, a, a specific section that were um, in charge of um, uh, launching, um, surveilling the, the sky, watching watching the sky and, and launching V2s over London. Yeah, they were. They had built a huge mir mirador um, in the roof, which damaged the roof. Um, we do have some pictures. Or somewhere, yeah. but yes. So yes, so the house has so, suffered a lot, yeah. and so yes, so, so this picture here was in it was one of the first. Um, I think it was taken the first week of uh, the arrival of the uh, of um, the roofers and the masons, um, and they were just starting to put up the uh, scaffolding and it's, uh, I, it's such a great picture because the skies here in the north of France are absolutely beautiful they're very stormy and gray or dark blue and here you have this this beautiful um um rainbow rainbow a big hope it's kind of this, this, yes it's, we were kicking off the, the work that was going to last for about yeah. an, a year yeah. and, and we had this beautiful rainbow so yeah it was uh, I guess and the appropriate nice message for you as you begin work on something like this. <laughs> Can you pass another picture? Yeah, a good example uh, of what we saw. 
I, I, the the roof uh, has let a lot of water coming in and it's cracking uh, it's 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 terrifying actually it was really about to fall and uh, even the window you can see uh, uh, on the on on top I mean the, the little uh, um, is uh, was completely rotten I mean uh, I could take wood uh, with my with my hands it was it, it's just it was just a nightmare so that's a good example yeah the next next picture is. Oh, okay, uh, oh, it's a quick explanation. The hole you can see is a, a um, is a, a okay. There were holes, but there were anchors, you know, and the anchors are bringing the house rods. house together, uh, and and it, it, the, the the anchors were fallen, so nothing was holding the walls together. So we had to dig in and put new anchors and a new pieces of a new uh, st strings or a rope Rod. rods to to mm -hmm. to hold it back that's a, that was another big work you can thank pass, you. On. Pa pass on thank you yes there's an example of the chimneys we were talking about earlier on you can see well you can see also the roof uh you, the very old violet slate and all the various patches where over the years we had to fill in the holes. Um, and then the, obviously the, the chimneys where they were just holding uh, holding up by miracle really the yeah. um with you can see the the, the big holes in there uh, holes bricks were falling down actually and uh, mm. surprisingly they began to fall even more when the the we got when, the grant when we got the grant <laughs> it, it was like a, they had been waiting for us very strange <laughs> Yes, can you can you go forward? Thank you. I think uh, so. Yeah, it's a, it's, you can see how, how what how, what the difference uh, already before and after. That's uh, the uh, the color of the stones, the beautiful work they've done here, and uh, and, and and the way they they still wanted to keep um, uh, the window frame. The window frame. Yeah, because yeah. we could have, it was so rotten, everything was so rotten, and you can see that everything, the new wood that's been re replaced on the on the roof, but the, the roofer came up, the chief roofer came to me and said, listen, I could take this away, it's really rotten, but I'd really like you to tell me to save it, because if I can save it, then when I, when we cover it with slate, it will still be slightly wonky, but that's because, but it'll be okay because it'll fit in with the roof. And if I do something brand new, it's going to be just too upright, too straight, and it's going to stick out like a sore eye. So um, they were very, they were, very they were very, 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 very kind attentive, yeah. and attentive. Every mm. single detail. Mm. Mm. Absolutely. Mm. Can you can you pass forward? Thank you. Uh, that's a that's a, a a view from the inside, and you can see on the left picture the the green one the holes and the, the broken wood. So that's how it was really under the slates. So the slates were going down, uh, were falling, and the, and the roof was just, I mean, the, it was pieces of wood, but not real. Um, so that's, that was, it, it, we had to change so much. I mean, uh, uh, it's now very uh, comforting to see how, how much I've worked in and how it's safe it looks now. It's, it's amazing. Yeah. Can you change? Yes, so here is yeah, the roof. Uh, well, it's very, well, what can I say? Um, this is this is the Maison de Georges. We have a, a, just next to uh, the main house, what we call the Chateau, a really small, quaint, delicious little house called the Maison de Georges. It was a gardener's house um, and it dates back to before uh, uh, to, to before the, to before the, um, well, before the construction before of the, the chateau, house. yeah. So I think it dates back to 1680 or something. 1680. Yeah. And uh, and here, well, obviously we went, well, obviously being the north of France, and them working during the winter, they just did. They, they never stopped. Um, yeah. Only stopped obviously through COVID when we had lockdown. But um, but eventually they had to come back because this house was even. <laughs> So it's it's very it's, it's amazing the house this little house was even in a worse condition than the chateau and uh, they had to come back during the the, the, lock, lockdown. the lockdown because it was the, the, the everything was falling they had to come quickly um taking the slates uh removing the roof, removing the roof made the walls move 
uh, from side to side. So they came back uh, in emergency to to fix it. And they weren't really allowed to come back, but they knew that if they hadn't come back, then the the, the, the house would, would been... be probably down. Yeah. Yes. So yeah. there was a structural issue that was so serious. Yeah. Yes, yes. And, and working night, working all day, uh, right, whenever, whenever there was a huge storm, they would have, they knew, know of, know of, they would arrive earlier the next day to do the same amount of hours. If it was snowing, would they come? If it was raining, they would come. They were, they were great. Yeah, this is another picture. Well, here you can see, remember you saw the very tall chimney with, uh, with a hole in? Well, right. this is the chimney uh, done. Um, yeah, it's, it's shining like a beacon. It's it's beautiful. It's 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 it's, it's oh, yes. now it's it was it was uh, also very bad. It was about to the iron iron bars holding it was some one of them was was actually not holding anything, so it gave us a bit of a fright. As you mentioned before, yeah. uh, as we mentioned before, <laughs> but now it's safe. You can you can go to the next photo. Oh, this really shows! Oh my goodness. So the scope of this work is extraordinary. Yes, yeah, so this is a drone shot um, to show you the, the roof. I mean, so the, 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 this house is listed also because it's one of the, uh, there aren't many houses, um, or houses, it well, states. We're, we're actually built, one of the only. You're one of yeah. the only built, still remaining, uh, uh, built it in the early 18th century. Um, and the reason why is that the roofs at that time were very, very steep, and you can see how steep they were. Um, and it was quite a challenge actually for the roofers. Um, so yeah, and you can see a lavender, a lavender in the back. Yes. When we just so the, it. the little house on the left, the red, the red house is a, is a over yonder, like the Jimi Hendrix. Uh, it's it's a George's house, the little the, 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 the garden's house, the gardener's house, and. And uh, and you can see the uh, the gardens, uh, a part of the garden, and 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 uh, how they were working so high. Um, I mentioned it to you another day, but uh, the first days there was one man who who slipped because it's uh, it's like I said it's very, very steep. steep. He, he slipped and he really injured injured himself. He uh, with a with a with a nail. Uh, thank God he didn't fall on the ground, but he fell on the yeah. scaffolding quite bad. And he's okay now. He's okay now. Good. <laughs> His name is Dimitri and he's very fine. <laughs> <laughs> There's another, another photo of the Maison de Georges. Once they had removed the roof and secured um, the, the, the facades and they had rebuilt, uh, they had even, yes, repaired the windows, I can see. Um, I, what do you use the Maison de Georges for? What it, what's in it now or what will be in it when it's finished? The Maison de Georges right now is completely empty. Um, it's in need of severe restoration in, inside. Um, and uh, what we want to do with it is we want to create a premium, we want to create a premium, um, sorry, we want to create a premium, um, uh, I've forgotten the word in English, uh, maison d'hôte, uh, uh, guest house. Guest house. Sorry, guest house. Guest house. Yeah. Um, but a, a very specific to guard for, to only for really garden lovers, mm. people who need retreat, yeah. um, who uh, want to spend time in the garden, um, and uh, not just a, 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 a not just a common B and B. It's not the purpose. It's a, yeah, a theme, oh. kind of photo so yeah. that they can garden, oh. they can, uh, I can we do things together, etc. Share, share this magnificent property together, yeah. and the other. The, so that's the main, the main idea uh, to help us to bring us a uh, little money to continue because there's so much work to do uh, still, and also another thing I really want to achieve uh, is to uh, give um, to have a, sh a, a sort of a shelter house for I thought of for battered women. Um, it's a subject that really I'm really uh, 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 sensitive you. for. Yeah, it's important for me. Yeah. So it's, this house can't be seen from the road. It's just on the southern part of the of the chateau. So it's hidden. It's a beautiful shelter. Another thing is that uh, giving some people a, a hand for a couple of days to breathe uh, is, uh, and also uh, because the garden is very relaxing. The lot of lavender, a lot of herbs. It's uh, it's really calming. 
uh, I think it's it's an, an idea we must pursue and, and achieve. It's a great place to retreat to, and uh, um, yeah, that's what we want to do. Yeah. We want it's to be share. a beautiful place for anyone, as particularly someone who's in transition yes, and yes, it's needs worth a, it. it's worth a beautiful it. idea. We are so lucky. We are so lucky. We are very lucky really? to be living here, yeah. so we need to share. Yeah. Okay. I I, I really like this picture because it almost seems unreal. Uh, uh, if you can see, it, it looks like it's, I don't know, it's, it's been uh, photoshopped, uh, maybe. Uh, it's, it's, the lines are so pure. Uh, and, and this is how it looks now uh, on a beautiful uh, sunny day. Um, a, a little view from, 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 the, from the lawn. Uh, you can see that. And you can see the Maison de Georges completely done. I, I, like, this, I like this picture best because it's a, uh, I never really get to see the house from this perspective because I'm always on the other side gardening. Um, and you can see, just see the beautiful, the beautiful roof and the chimneys. And it's yeah, just such a pleasure to see them. One question um, one might ask is that how come is it the, the chimneys are not the same? Well, it's a question we're still, we're still asking. We, the, no, nobody could tell us, but we were not allowed at all to change it. Uh, this is the way it was, and this is the way it's going to be. And, and actually, if they said no, but if you, if you take it a different way, it might, it will it would take out some charm of the of the, of of this kind of property. It has little surprises, quirks. yes, yeah. quirks, and that <laughs> makes that makes it more even more interesting. So yeah. that's it. We had to leave it like that. <laughs> Stop here. Okay. Another, another, view. another view of the house uh, uh, of this taken this winter. So with the new roof and the and the facade repaired, yes. the new chimneys and mm. the maison de Georges. So, so the, 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 we call the bricks uh, the color of the bricks. So you can see uh, it's not a dark orange. We call them pink bricks. Um, so it's all it's been uh, uh, the bricks have been cooked by hand, and it it gives a a, a, a beautiful beautiful color. Uh, especially with uh, with the uh, lights uh, here in the north, it's uh, really you know it's it's uh, it's it's uh, moving um, all the time. The colors changing all the time. Yes, uh, and the, the contrast the, with the roof is beautiful. Yes, yes, yes. indeed. The gardens, yes. So what the, the, the yeah. obviously the gardens are uh, very very important here to 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 our to to the estate. The the house is like a little jewel can set in the gardens and from everywhere you are in the garden you get a, you catch a glimpse of the house um, and that's why in fact the, the gardens were redesigned and how they, they were redesigned to that effect yeah. and here well here we have our, 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 our heart a our poppy shaped heart um, that we designed back in uh, 2018 um, to commemorate the end of the last to, to commemorate the end of the first world war yes um, and we we baptized a rose we christened, we christened a rose a white rose um, in the name of a french resistant uh, oh. and it was and we managed to uh, find some members of our, fa of of our, family. Of our family and it was really moving really because this woman was ex exceptional she was um she was uh, 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 one of the first uh, women. french women resistant There's and she was ki she was killed by the germans um, and uh, yes and she, her name was louise de bettini louise de bettini um and so we, so we it was also in honor of her and of av and of the, all those who gave their lives uh to to for our freedom and and it's very important. It was very important for me as being as, as a Brit living in France to, you know, to to communicate globally about that, because uh, I think the, well, I'm not saying the French are less patriotic, but certainly it's important for the Anglo-Saxons that we are all to, you know, to carry on um, communicating and not forgetting. Yeah. And so, yes, so. So the, 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 you can pass on. Yeah, the, the gardens have been uh, designed by my uncle, who is a garden architect uh, in Brussels, and so he helped my father through this uh, process of uh, transforming uh, cow fields 
uh, and, uh, and farm buildings in a beautiful uh, 3,000, uh, uh, three hectares garden with a maze, with collections of hydrangeas, with uh, garden uh, gar uh, chambers, uh, garden chambers, and uh, an arboretum. Um, so, so the garden in its current form is relatively new. I mean, I say new, it's not from yes. 1717. <laughs> no, 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 no. But in the old documents, it is mentioned that the, the, there, were, there was a, 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 a park and, um, uh, of British inspiration. Jardin à l'anglaise. Uh, Jardin à l'anglaise. Ah. All right. Okay. Can you, yeah. It's another view. So as I was saying earlier on, the, the garden really was designed to showcase the, um, our, the home, our house. Mm -hmm. And so here you, you, you're in, you're quite near the maze, the, 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 the three, our 3000 square meter maze labyrinth. And you can just see an enfilade, the various chambers with, uh, with our hydrangeas. And uh, roses. Yeah, it's uh, in the in summertime. It's it's quite. It's uh, the shade is marvelous. It helps us. Uh, it's almost the painting. This this photo. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we have. I don't know how many now. How many hydrangeas we have? I, I've lost count. To, to I mean, I think we've communicated specific. a number on our website, but I think I, every year, every time we I go shopping, more. I buy, I come home with my, with my, my, my car full of plants and I don't buy bags or shoes. I, I buy plants, <laughs> too many, but, uh, and so we don't, we've, yes, it's true. <laughs> um, so, um, yes, yeah. you can pass to the next okay. photo. Oh yeah. Okay. Views, views, uh, poetic and, and smoothing. Uh, relaxing. Yes, yeah. I just love this picture. It's um, with the with the sky and you know and our our, our topperies uh, box, and then you can see little bumps. There there are lavender, our lavender top topperies that are, that grow into oh. a beautiful colours oh. during the summer. We are on the plateau. There is no water, and it's uh, beginning. It's 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 starting slowly to be an issue um, oh. because the hydrangeas are. Uh, hydro and so need some water a lot and uh, definitely since a couple of years uh, the, the soils are getting drier and drier and um, we are uh, now uh, um, next next week we have uh, someone coming for helping us to dig and put some uh, 400 uh, a pipe of 400 meters long to to water. to water, water, oh, wow. water to irrigation. water but it's it's a uh, uh, yeah, water irrigation, but it's it's not like a, a huge a huge uh, rain. It's more like drops, you know. Okay, oh, sorry. He's, he's passionate about this. So, <laughs> this is a beautiful picture of the back of the house. Uh, uh, you can uh, you can see obviously our box and our lavender. It's just a, and that is a typical summer's day um, um, light. With the way that the house lights up in the sun, with the when you can truly see the roof with its purple hues, and the brickwork is this kind of pinky orangey color, which is it's just so nice and so soothing. And on the mm -hmm. facade, we have these beautiful climbing roses, uh, white climbing roses, so that this adds to the the charm. Please. You can next. Oh wow. Oh we. Yes, yeah, so that's the, the lavender. So <laughs> on the left, it's uh, uh, from my bedroom window. I'm very lucky to have that view. Um, so we have, I think we planted 500. Uh, 460, precisely. We planted 500, but we lost some we in are. the way. But um, <laughs> but we have, we have uh, I think there's four types here. We have a pink one, a very light pink one, a darker pink one, a blue and a dark purple. And so all the year round, they're, they're cut back into these neat balls. And then obviously they grow into this beautiful kind of color that you can see on your right. Full of buzzing, full of bees and butterflies. Yeah, definitely. Beautiful. Yeah. See, this is a quite a uh, Wimbledon uh, look, uh, these greens <laughs> and, 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 uh, and, and purple. Beautiful. Wimbledon. Yes, the Wimbledon, the colors of Wimbledon here, okay. definitely. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, the maze, uh, the maze on the right. The labyrinth, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's um, hornbeam, uh, th 300 square meters. So big, it's a big one. And the kids, our visitors just love getting lost in there and shrieking sure. and playing and 
uh, pretending to be the Minotaur. Um, mm. And so that's a great attraction for the locals and for all our visitors. And on the left, you, you can see the lavender, but still it hasn't grown and it hasn't grow, grown into flower yet. It's still relatively cut back into small balls. And then our Annabellas. We have a huge wave of Annabellas White just wave. white it's a beautiful white wave i don't know how many of, of them we have oh. but it's just gi ginormous and so you you it's just the contrast of the colors is just very very soothing mm. it's a pretty picture that one yeah mm. so yes yeah, some examples some of the plants in the garden we have quite we have a quite a big now collection of herbivores um about 130 um crocus um oh yes obviously yes sir uh, I, I always have my phone or you have your phone with, with us when we're gardening and whenever we see a, a, an insect or a butterfly or we just have to you know obviously it makes you very share. happy it's just nice to see much bio biodiversity um, and it, life yeah. in the garden it, it, it makes us very happy uh i mean when you pay attention to nature uh, obviously and 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 when you wait for a flower to blossom uh, when the day the flower blossoms and gives you its beauty, it's uh, it's uh, it's, uh, it's I mean it's just a way to ha to be happy. Also, force yourself to to smell the scent of uh, any rose or any flower that comes on your on your way. Uh, also, uh, rejoices you. Yeah, simple pleasure. Simple, simple pleasure, pleasure, but but essential. even more, you you are in this kind of environment. You are surrounded with beauty. Uh, um, the nature is beautiful. The house is beautiful. So it's a very very uh, oh, 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 uplifting. uplifting. Very uplifting. Yeah. Yes. So yes, the fête des plantes and the brocante. So, uh, in order to to gain more visibility, to, to pull in more visitors, and also to help us fund all the work that we had to do and still have to do, we decided to relaunch an event that my uh, uh, in-laws created about um, 25, 30 years ago, which mm. was a flower fair. And they did it for 10 years, a huge success, and they stopped for their reasons. And we decided to relaunch it back in uh, 2018. Um, that we decided to recreate, to reboost the event and, and to tweak it slightly so that it would still be a flower fair because we were known for that. Uh, but but to add on uh, a brocante, but a, a beautiful a curated yeah. brocante. So um, we, uh, we spent a lot of time um, going out, uh, meeting and antique dealers, uh, um, qualitative um, brocanteurs, uh, and, and convincing them to, to come and attend the, this event. And we, well, we managed. We managed. We managed. Yeah. So this poster here is the poster of the second year in 2019. We, we really want the event to be a premium, beautiful, um, uh, charming family event. So it was really important that we got the communication right. We, 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 uh, we got a beautiful logo made to represent the event, which you can see there with the, with the phonograph and the hydrangea. And, uh, we just we just trying to do everything nicely and beautifully, mm -hmm. and because we're strong believers in you know if you give beauty to people then it's just it's just so soothing uh, that people just want to you know, it's just yeah an easy way to communicate mm -hmm. and 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 it, and it heals also I, many I, people. I'm very admirative because this event uh, that brings uh, now between seventy and eighty exhibitors of great quality was uh, completely um, thought by Ithaca. Uh, and uh, I'm really proud and, and uh, yes, uh, full admiration. Uh, the, 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 the idea is bringing beautiful brocanteurs because all of them have mm -hmm. really something uh, we could buy at any of their stands to put some of their objects in our home. That was, a, that was a goal, actually. We went to yeah. many, many shows and we didn't choose them, uh, all of them. We just said, this one is interesting. And so it's definitely Ithaca's signature. And, um, and that's, no, but it's, it's very true. Uh, I was uh, also very amazed by some people she found an, an old man I really liked, who is, uh, we were selling some, um, uh, old, old Belgium gent. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> he was. He and he's coming back this year. Yeah, he's he, coming. Yeah, oh, he phoned me goodness. today, and yeah. he promised to bring loads of deck chairs because he is amazing. <laughs> he 
He collects vintage deck chairs, the yes. really old deck chairs. He rebuilds them and he sells them. And it sounds really easy and corny, but you can't really find beautiful curated uh, deck chairs that will last the, the test of time. No, no, so, only yeah. your 50s or oh, your 40s. So, it's amazing. Yes, yeah, so this is one of the, um, um, the nurseries specialised in peonies. And it's just, uh, we wanted to show you the, the atmosphere. Every single uh, um, uh, exhibitor. exhibitor is special. And they and the nurseries that are, are here with us on that day are, are not, just, not just nurseries that will buy plants and sell them on. Most of them actually create uh, their own species um, uh, or breed them. And so they're all very passionate. And that's what we wanted. We wanted passionate people, whatever, whatever their, their, what they were selling, mirrors, chairs, peonies, roses, you name it, but passionate and wanting to kind of share their passion and the beauty. Um, and, and that's, yeah, and that's, I find it's a very nice picture. Of, yeah, it's a very good know, example. With a banana hat, et cetera. Obviously we had to also cater for everybody. And so this, this, this particular exhibitor was interesting because you know ironwork you can you can you anybody can go and buy a, a little sweet little duck or whatever to, to plant it amongst their flowers or you can if you have enough to spare then you can maybe buy a huge beautifully unique um, pergola um, for your for your garden to take tea in so yeah I really wanted to it was really important for me so that anybody that would be coming to this event um, either from the local village or uh, or from you know Bel we had quite a lot of Belgium or, or from from England we had quite a lot of people from Belgium come with a lot of money would be able to find something yeah that was the aim. Mm -hmm. Accessible prices. Accessible prices, yeah. And uh, and uh, yeah, and also someone we didn't talk about was the uh, was the um, Yeah, um, another thing that we did was so here we have um, uh, part of the garden uh, uh, with our high well yes. it's our hydrangeas actually, and we we asked the rosarist to to put his uh, stall here and, and, and the man selling hydrangeas too. Yeah, yeah. too. And yeah. so it was a wonderful mix. And what was wonderful is that. All these these nurseries they've been working with our family now for decades. So mm. um, uh, so we have a lot of their plants actually, but our plants that are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years old or more. Um, and so people get to see in situ what they're buying. Yeah. Right. And, and that's also very good for, for the yeah. for the nurseries. And these are American Absolutely. oak trees. American oak trees. American a, oak trees. Yeah, yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, there was a commissar. Is there yes, so we yeah. had oh, another important thing, a feature that we wanted to add was uh, we had this um, art dealer, um, auctioneer, who was uh, there on standby all day um, and he would um, uh, he would give history and a price, uh, an to estimation any to, any, any to any object that anybody mm. would bring. So uh, something that you would buy in situ or that you would go and fetch or bring from your home. You mm. could the present- The antique road show here uh, uh, that we have, the antique road show. Uh, that con concept, I should say. But people would bring their watch, you know, their grandfather's watch or- I saw, uh, I I saw somebody kind of stare in disbelief and talk to him and then rush off and I thought well perhaps he didn't like the idea and he rushed off and then about an hour later I saw him wheeling in this really mm. old medieval beautiful chair yeah. and he and went we, and he went to see it to see the the auctioneer and the auctioneer yeah. the the specialist the art dealer said confirmed that it was a unique piece yeah. and he came up to him and said I just love your event. I just love your event. He just walked off. He's like, okay, fine. I made, I made somebody happy today. And as I'm in charge of security, kind of, uh, I, I avoided that some people were asking the children to carry the wheelbarrows with the decks. <laughs> And because it was heavy, but I said no, we cannot, we cannot do this. I, it was too, too, too dangerous that you might, that the and children might would let so, some, some precious, precious object fall. Fall from the wheelbarrow, yeah. Absolutely. Because we yeah, have all, 
all the our uh, nephews, nieces, cousins, young girls, you know, it's the teens event. have wheelbarrows and the visitors can call on them and they will, they will take to their car whatever they bought. And this was more for the plants, mm. but we realized yeah. very soon that where there were these antique pieces going, being brought through and we had to stop that. But we had to find, we'll have to find a solution for this year. Yeah. yeah. So that's the good news. The year is back on this year, back yes. on this summer. Wonderful. We're very, we're very, very lucky. June 27th. Uh, ah, fantastic. We're allowed to do it, so we're we 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 started we're starting running around like headless chicken in the garden, you know, tidying it up and uh, right. and drawing lists and uh, yeah, we're really happy. And there'll yeah, be a it's such a beautiful event. way to bring people there and to let them experience this exquisite part of your home. Definitely. Thank you, thank you. And we do intend to have a second event in October, which will be a kind of Halloweeny glow fest, but different, completely different uh yeah. for a kind of night walk um so that's going to be good too mm -hmm. Definitely. thank you thank you for so beautifully sharing your passion for the chateau for the garden and for all of the work you're doing to maintain it so that those of us here maybe can come visit one day soon and others can come visit further down the road but thank you again for joining us alex nithika and thanks to all of you for being with us today uh, it's been a real pleasure thank you